Hi, it's Cory, and today you're gonna learn how to play Toss a Coin to Your Witcher from The Witcher. All right, to get started, let's make sure ukulele is in tune. That's going to be a G on the fourth string, a C on the third string, an E on the second string, and an A on the first string. For this song, you're gonna need to know five chords. Now, something of note, I really took, I mean, it doesn't have that many chords in the original version, but this is in a different key than the version that is sung in the show. Um, and then I did simplify it just a little bit, so it's a little easier for to, you to play, because that's what I do. I take songs, I simplify them, and make it so you can play it a lot easier. All right, so just keep that in mind as we're going through. So the first chord you're gonna need for the song will be an A minor. An A minor is you're gonna take your second finger and just place it on the fourth string on the second fret. Now the next chord you're gonna need is an A minor seven. What's really, really awesome about that is you don't have to do anything with your left hand. It's just strumming the ukulele when it's in tune. So that's the second chord. You're also going to need to know an A major seven, which is going to be your first finger and you're actually just going to place it on the fourth string first fret. All right, so just like as a quick like review, cause I know I literally just talked about three different A minor chords. So you have regular A minor, A minor seven, and then A minor major seven. So when those are played all together, which you will be doing in the tutorial, um, you'll have A minor, A minor seven, A minor major seven. All right, now I know those sound really, well, to me they sound very different. If they are not sounding very different to you, you are more than welcome not to play them. You could just play it on that A minor the whole time whenever it says a different variation of A minor. That would be fine too. The quality might be a little off. Um, strive to be able to play all three, but if you can only do the one, that's fine too. All right, you're also gonna need to know a D7. Now this is easy D7, which is going to be your first finger on the second fret, fourth string, and then your second finger is gonna go on the second fret, second string. All right, so that's that easy D7. And then rather than an E chord, we're gonna be doing an E7 chord instead. So what you're gonna do for that is take your first finger, place it where you had just had it for that A minor major seven. And so that's gonna be your first finger on the first fret, fourth string. And then you're gonna take your second finger, place it on the second fret, third string and then take your third finger and place it on the second fret first string. And then that's that E7. And then finally you're going to have a C major chord which you're probably familiar with already but that's going to be your third finger on the third fret first string. So those are all the chords you're gonna need. Now, let's talk about strumming pattern. At the very, very beginning, when we're just having the intro, we're gonna be playing on the chord changes. So what that means is when in the playthrough you see an A minor above a word, you're just going to strum there. So a chord change at the very beginning, we have A minor, when a humble, then A minor seven on bard, graced a ride a D seven with Geralt of my nose was itchy, sorry, with Geralt of Rivia, when we'll have it on that um, A minor seven again, and then came, along came this, then go back to the D seven song, and then to the A mi mi minor seven, and then to the A major, or A minor major seven. And that leads us into what is going to be our picking pattern. Now for this, it's very, very similar to a lot of the picking patterns we've done in the past. The strings you're gonna be alternating between will be the second string and the fourth string, okay? So what you're gonna be doing with your left hand is everything will be the exact same um, chord-wise with your left hand as it always will. The only difference is you're gonna be picking between the second string and the fourth string. Just like this. 
Um, other songs that you might be familiar with from my channel that do this same picking pattern would be Someone You Loved or Lovely, for instance. So it's following that same kind of pattern. I'm gonna pull you closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you can see like, for instance, on the A minor, I have my hand in the A minor position and then I'm going to just pick between this right here. I know my strings are like clear so it's a little harder to see but the second string here and the fourth string so I have just like that so you'll have a full um, one two three four then from when the wife would fought a silver tongue devil all right so that's all you're gonna be doing through the entire first verse again slower it looks like this from when the wife will fought a silver tongue devil his army of elves at his homes they did revel oh all right, so you can really hear um, how those three variations of that A minor really add some color in that. So again, you can hear the, here's with the A minor, A minor seven, and then that A minor major seven. All right, so again, just on that second string and that fourth string here, okay? After that, um, when we kind of get to the first chorus, we're going to change to strumming on the beat. So for instance, it would sound like this. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh valley of plenty, O oh valley of plenty, oh. I'll do that so you can see it a little up. It'd be ta. Toss a coin to your witcher, O oh valley of plenty, O oh valley of plenty, oh. All right, so I'm just strumming on that beat. And we're going to actually continue to do that throughout the rest of the song. And that will be the two different um, strumming patterns that we'll be using. So we'll either be alternating between that picking pattern or just playing on the beat. And it's not playing on that chord change. This is what it would sound like with the chord, playing on the chord change. Toss a coin to your witcher, old valley of plenty, old valley of plenty. Right, that's the chord change. We're gonna do it on the beat, so toss a coin to your witcher, oh valley of plenty, oh valley of plenty, oh. So you're playing on that steady pulse. So basically, we're just gonna be switching between using the picking pattern and playing on the beat for this song. So to map it out for you, we're gonna be starting with just playing on the chord changes, then moving to the picking pattern, and then once we hit that first chorus, we move to playing on the beat, um, and that will take us through the rest of the song. So, once you have all that really, really solidified, you know the chords, and you know what you're doing, it's time to try the song. I'm gonna pull you closer so you can see what I'm doing with my hands, for the playthrough and let's get started. One, two, here we go, and. When a humble bard graced a ride along with Geralt of Rivia, along came this song. From when the wife will a silver tongued devil, his army of elves, and his hooves they did revel. And then they came after me with masterful deceit, broke down my lute, and they ticked in my teeth. While the devil's horns minced their tender meat, and so cried the
out every elf Far back on the shelf High up the mountain From whence it came He wiped out your pest He got kicked in his chest He's a friend of humanity So give him some rest And that's my epic tale Our champion prevail tutorial for toss a coin to your witcher helpful um if you haven't already watched the series on netflix it's really really awesome it's definitely something you should only be watching if you're an adult um or with parent consent and stuff um if you're familiar with the video games they are quite graphic and that carries over to the series as well this is definitely a really fun song that i am pretty obsessed with at the moment so i hope you enjoy this easy way how to be able to play it. And of course, if you aren't at a place where you are ready for the finger picking pattern at the beginning, you could always just play it on the beat all the way through. Or similarly, what you could do rather than staying on the beat from the first chorus all the way through, you could go back to the finger picking pattern as well. And that'd be totally fine too. So I hope you found this helpful. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and to like this video um, and learn how to play. And don't forget to toss a coin to your witcher. That's super corny, but I'm gonna stick with it. All right, thanks so much. Have a great day, bye-bye. <laughs>